Hello, welcome to my house and welcome to my channel. I'm Laura Cepeda and today I'm going to show you something very useful and easy. Well, you know that the mask is the accessory that we are going to continue using for the rest of the year and well, now that we are using it too much, it is common to use some cords. Well, I have seen these cords made with fabric and with uh, jewels, fantasy jewels, and with any uh, many other materials. But well, today I want to show you how you can make them uh, using uh, new stitches that I think I haven't teach you. So we are going to make these new uh, stitches while we learn how to make this cord. I use the markers, but well, you can use something more appropriate. But in this case. I didn't have it and so I used the markers okay I just have them with my with me and I think that it's also uh, um, I can give you an idea of which materials you can uh, need okay we are going to learn how to make three different cords and uh, well I will give you the step by step and remember that before we start it's important that you subscribe Well, for these three options, I will use this light material, it's number, number three, and I will use in different colors. Uh, actually, you can use the material that you have left from previous videos because we will need less than 50 grams, okay? Uh, we are going to need uh, some brushes or markers. Uh, I was saying these brushes, I will use some that I have from um, bracelets <laughs> that broke but if not well you can use markers like me and we will we will use our hook of number three well uh, this is all the material that we will need let's start well this will be the first option we will start with one thread and with our hook making three chains well we will come back to the second we will turn over before and right there we will insert our hook we will keep all the loops in the hook and we will bring them through and make one chain well we will repeat this three times okay three loops and before we will turn over then uh, turn around again inside this um, popcorn that we made we will repeat remember three times we will turn over and insert the hook three times we will bring them through one chain okay again turn around turn over and insert your hook right in the middle and pull like this we are going to repeat three times remember and we will keep all the loops in hold and again turn around and we are going to repeat okay so the tricks of this stitch is that we are going to turn around always uh, every time that we finish to make one popcorn and that we are going to turn over before we insert the hook okay and we will keep all the loops in hold and then we will bring them through and close with one chain like this we are going to continue and making more popcorns until we have a long strip approximately we are going to make this strip of one meter long but you will decide okay if you want this cord shorter or longer it will be up to you so well this is the first option and the first stitch of how you can make a cord for our mask well look at the end we have something like this this is how the long strip looks so once you have the long that you need uh, just cut and that's it well this is the second option we will make one and two chains then insert your hook here in the in the chain take one take first one and then two together again insert your hook in the last um, chain that you made turn over 
and take one and then the next two. Again, insert your hook, turn over, take one and the next two. Insert your hook, turn over, take one and then the next two. And like this we are going to continue making a long strip, okay? I will continue making more with you so you can see exactly how it is. And well, this is the second option and this is the second stitch. Like this we are going to make a cord. You see, it's, it looks nice, right? So like this we are going to continue and also we are going to make a long strip until we get one meter long or less and you will decide okay so for now let's continue I want to make more with you so you can have uh, everything clear it's so easy and it looks uh, nice and it's super fast so let's continue like this well I finished to make this long strip beautiful right and well you can use other colors if you want you can combine textures colors to make these cords okay it's up to you now let's start with the third option well now we will use a different color we will start making three chains one two three then we are going to make three chains more one two and three we will con count three and in the fourth turn over and insert your hook and pull then in the next turn over insert your hook and pull and bring them through turn over insert your hook like this pull and bring them through like this I'll turn around and go up with three chains one two and three and in the first space here between the last two double crochet you see right there we are going to insert our hook we have two three and with the first chains that we made we have four again turn around go up with three chains turn over and in the first space again we will repeat we will turn over and insert our hook and pull three times okay this time we won't leave uh, keep them in hold okay we are going to take them right away again turn around go up with three chains and in the first space here we are going to uh, repeat this three times and like this we are going to continue until we get a long strip with this stitch I think it will look beautiful right well let's continue also we are going to make like a meter long oh well, here I made a long strip and at the end we will have something like this just let me finish before I cut here I think I lost a stitch okay yes like this well now that you are ready and that you have the long that you need well cut remember to leave a long uh, thread because later you can hide it with embroidery needle or with the hook okay don't cut here because it will be uh, you will take the risk that this will undo probably and so we are going to hide it like this and we are going to use brush or also you can use some buttons or you can use uh, the markers like me okay you can use this kind of brush I don't know how to uh, how you call them in English please let me know here in the comments uh, you always help me to improve my vocabulary thank you so much or well you can use these markers well at the end you will put the brushes like this you will use the markers like this so Today I teach you how you can make three different cords for your mask, okay? So now you can bring them with you, you can wear them, you can make it in different colors, in different sizes for all your family. You can combine textures, combine colors, 
or maybe you can also sew some birds or some um, other decorations okay so well please if you make them uh, take a picture and tag me and now let's see how it looks well I hope that you have enjoyed making this break with me I love it and well don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to give me a like thank you so much and see you in the coming video bye